guys, this is Tucho Duar, and today I will paint on this piece of bamboo. I found it on the beach while I was having one of my random walks and I like to collect wood pieces and paint on them. And when I see this piece of bamboo, I just thought that it could be amazing to paint something on it. So here we are. I have an idea about what to draw on it, but first I will put base with acrylic paint. Later on I will color it with watercolor. I didn't want to use plain white, so I'm putting piece of like kind of brown coffee kind of thing, this thingy in it. After it becomes smooth enough, I'll start to apply it on the bamboo. By the way, I fully clean the bamboo before painting to get rid of all kind of dirt and the dust on it because otherwise the paint won't stick on. So make sure if you're painting on a wood or something similar, clean it fully before you start to paint on. I'm only applying the acrylic where I will place my final painting, so I actually know what I'm gonna draw more or less. I use acrylic here because it helps me to have a brighter result. If you skip this and apply the watercolor directly on the wood, wood might soak the paint inside a bit and it might look faded. So if you skip this part, uh, you might not have as bright as that I'm gonna have in the end. After it gets dry, I'm taking my Winsor & Newton watercolor palette and mixing some colors. I'll paint the little city here. Not sure how it's gonna look, but like I hope the best <laughs> as usual. I love how watercolor leaves effect on it. Look at it, like it definitely has different effect on bamboo than it has on the paper. That's what I like about watercolor. Other medias has the similar thing also, but with watercolor you always have these different surprising effects when you apply it on the different medias. My palette has reds, beiges and some blues in, so it really has this Mediterranean vibes. I think I miss home. <laughs> Thank you. 
after I paint general shapes, I will take a tiny, tiny brush and use black color to add some tiny details on it, like windows and the doors and some broke bricks, blah, 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 blah. Later on, I'm using a gel pen to add tiniest detail on. That's my favorite part. Even if it seems like I'm painting randomly, there are some parts that I'm paying attention, actually. Like, I try not to use the same color side to side. I'm trying to change the shade of the color if they are, like, beside each other to see the difference of the buildings or the walls or the light on them. I'll try to keep it as symmetric as possible. I don't like when it's super symmetric. It's like a computer-made city, so when it's asymmetric, it's more vibrant to me. I hope uh, I managed to explain what I'm trying to say. And I try to make it unperfect, like some walls are broke, some are like just going on the left side, it's not like straight at all. I don't know, when it's unperfect like this, it looks more alive. quite good actually, <laughs> better than I expected, as usual also. I have to admit that I'm enjoying doing this a lot. And it's super simple to draw on the bamboo, the surface is like super smooth, they're just little bumps but doesn't bother much. I mostly do those kind of pieces to sell after, but again, I'm mostly ending up liking them a lot and I wanted to keep them for myself. So finally I'm putting the price like quite high, like higher than what I have in mind. So in the end most nobody buy them and I got to keep them. Or if someone go and buy them, I know that, that they are gonna appreciate it. So it's like win-win. I mean win for me and win for me in the end. <laughs> this saw my house paintings that I did a couple of different house paintings and I published some videos on this channel before even I used a different palette in this one I wanted to put the legs like I did on the other paintings I'm kind of obsessed with these house with legs things lately
after I add my last touches, I'm done with painting. But, 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 I have something else to do before finalizing it. I'm gonna put this clear varnish on it. It really lasts longer with this protection spray and it's better like if you hit it somewhere. I don't know why you hit it somewhere, but it's kind of like protection shield <laughs> out of it. And it's giving this like bright layer around that I quite like. It's not like shiny shining, but it gives a bit like glossy look. After the spray get dry, I'm gonna attach this piece on these leg things. We made the leg with a piece of wood and a metal string on it, but like simple process to do. And like I could just hang this bamboo on the wall, but I wanted to put it on a stand this time to make it different. I'm using my super duper technology Kegulu gun <laughs> to glue my bamboo on the stand. Voila, here we go. I like it better on a stand, I guess. It has a different vibe like this, I don't know. It turned out quite nice and most probably I will keep it to myself. <laughs> I hope you guys like the video and enjoy my nonsense conversation. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon on the next video. Ciao!